all right all right shalom shalom uh first and foremost as always i want to give all praises and honor and glorification to yahweh hashem yahweh shabbat hashem hawa kakadash double honor to our elders apostle of gms who will walk and our peace and blessings to the hopefully like akiam that are out there pushing this gospel this doctrine of yahweh hashem yahweh shai and righteousness in this area in truth and also shalom a war broke of thumb peace and blessings to the brethren and a few sisters that may be tuning and listening learning studying under the vibration of yahweh bashim shah bahashim hawa kakadash and once again to worry how why how shy for giving us an opportunity to be able to understand this truth's knowledge um i want to do a lesson or a quick and low one it's uh it's edifying and it says uh the title of this article it says uh North Korea, North Korea Kim ordered making more missile ahead of South Korea, uh, U.S. drill. You know this article dated August 14th, 2023. Um, so says our North Korean leader Kim Jong Un has called for an increase in missile production to help secure overwhelmingly. Uh, military uh, power and be ready for war and that's exactly the time we're in right now wars and women's wars is what you've been hearing about lately more than ever you know this is the time we're in matter of fact uh, let's get ecclesiastes uh, ecclesiastes ecclesiastes uh, proverb ecclesiastes 3 and 8 Ecclesiastes 3 verse 8 A time of to love and a time to hate A time of war and a time of peace And that's exactly what it is You know, that's the time we're in right now This is a right, right, Matter of fact, let's read it over again A time to love and a time to hate A time of war and a time of peace And right now, we are at a time Where these nations are Conducting um, Joint military drill you know they are joining alliances they they signing treaties uh uh uh, uh, uh signing treaties signing a uh, 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 agreement to uh to 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 look after one another you know that this is the time we're in you know that's habakkuk you know uh this is, this is uh yahweh already told us these things before they spring forth uh Isaiah Isaiah 42 verse 9 Isaiah 42 verse 9 Isaiah 42 verse 9 I am the Lord Yahweh Shai that is my name and my glory will not not give into another neither my praise to graven images behold the former things that come to pass and new things do I declare, but for the spring forth, I tell you of them, and that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what prophecy is. You know, the Lord uh, 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 foretold these things. You know, matter of fact, the, the very word prophecy means to say things before they actually come to pass. Matter of fact, let's look at the word prophecy real quick. I want to I wanna touch on something. Prophecy. Prophecy. A uh, prophecy, the function of a prophet inspired utterance, the prediction of future events, and that's exactly what it is. The prediction of future events are uh, from old French prophecy, modern French prophet, prophetie, and directly from late Latin prophetia. And it says, um, a gift of interpreting the will of God, meaning things spoken or written by the prophets. You know, that's what we. That's what. That's where we are right now, man. Uh, what's the uh, uh, Jeremiah? Jeremiah twenty-eight. Uh, Jeremiah twenty-eight and eight. Um, matter of fact, uh, Jeremiah twenty-eight verse seven. Nevertheless, hear thou not this word that I speak in thine ears. And in the ears of all the people, 
the prophets that have been before me and before thee of all prophesied both against many countries and against their kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilences and that's exactly what it is you know that's a uh, the job the description of a prophets to say things before they actually come to pass of war you know war is what are uh, you being hearing in the news lately man you know uh uh, uh israel against against iran you know north korea against south korea Ta china taiwan you know india pakistan you know that's what you've been hearing conflicts man all over the world man and it's increasing as as the day progresses as we get closer and closer to the great day of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, these things are gonna be all close and personal. Uh, of war and of evil. And that's exactly what's coming. Only evil, but all has come. The end is come. It watch it for thee. Behold, it is come. So Ezekiel, the seventh chapter. Let's get that real quick. Um, uh, Ezekiel. 7 verse 5 and it says uh thus said the lord power and evil and only evil but all is come and end is come the end is come it watch it for thee behold it is come and that's exactly like what it is evil uh uh when you break it down the word evil even in time it don't mean bad so bad timing or time like no order or time uh such as um a time such as never was since there was a nation that was coming man on uh, Jacob's trouble you know of war and of evil and of pestilences and that's what's coming pestilences plagues you know uh, uh, all kind of all kind of all kind of diseases you know uneasiness you know uh, uh, the earth gonna shake you know the foundation of the earth gonna be quaking through those two them through them plagues, man. You know? That's what's coming. Um go back to the article real quick. Uh, and it says uh, uh overwhelmingly military power and be ready for war. State media uh C K C at K C N A said on Monday as South Korea and the United States gave up for annual military draw uh so like kim kim gave the order as he visited uh key munitions factory that produces tactical uh missile missile launch platforms armored uh armored vehicles and artillery artillery shot on friday and, sa and saturday and he says uh his felt inspection was the latest in a string of visit to arm factory where he ordered mass production of weapons uh, mass production of weapons and came and came days before south korea and u.s are to begin annual military drills which pyongyang see as a rehearsal for war you know that's exactly what it is rehearsal man you know That's a rehearsal, man. Yeah, that's what what's that's what they're doing. They're rehearsing for the great day of Yahweh Shimushai. And it says on uh, Kim noted an important goal to dramatically increase missile production uh, capacity to meet the needs of the expanded and strengthened frontline military unit. You know, it says on uh, C uh KC and he said the qualitative level for preparation depend on the, the development of a munition industry and the factory has a tremendous responsibility in accelerating our military war preparation he was quoted as saying uh, and it says uh, as other plants Kim, ex uh, Kim inspected and drove a new utility uh, combat armor vehicle and praised recent progress in modernizing production line for large caliber multiple rockets launch launch launcher 
all around, you know. You know, you get the idea, man. You know, you know, you go down to the United States uh, has accused North Korea of providing weapons to Russia for its war in Ukraine. So, guess what? North Korea, or Russia, uh, uh, India, uh, China, South Africa, uh, Pakistan, they are in the league, man. I are in the league, man, against the U.S. and NATO. And it says uh, the first war in Ukraine, including artillery, uh, shell, shoulder fire rockets, and, and missile. And it says uh, North Korea, Russia have denied any arms transaction. The leader of South Korea, the United States, and Japan are also to discuss, also said to discuss security a corporate cooperation over North Korea, Ukraine, and other issue when they gathered for a trilateral summit on August 18th at Camp David. You know, we know ultimately, like, uh, uh, South Korea is being uh, controlled by the U.S., so they're doing exactly, they're doing whatever the U.S. tells them to do, you know. But, hey, man, wars, man, it's what's, uh, it's what's on the horizon. Uh, matter of fact, let's get a Habakkuk, uh, Habakkuk, uh, Habakkuk 2 and 1 I will stand upon my watch and set me upon a tower and will watch to see what he was sent to me and watch shall I answer when I am reproved and that's exactly what it is we're sitting on a tower man watching for these prophecies to come to pass and making it known to, to the masses that's the, that's our duty that's our that's our reasonable service you know that's how that's our purpose of being alive to serve Yahweh Shemeshai to push this uh, to push this word man to declare his to declare his marvelous works and the Lord Yahweh Shemeshai answered me and said write the vision and make it plain upon table that he may run that read of it you know for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it shall surely come it will not tarry and that's exactly what it is these visions or no longer tearing, you know. Now they are, they almost at your phone door, man. They almost at your phone door, you know. Uh, what most, what most Americans felt realized uh, was happening abroad, was happening overseas, was happening in in uh, in uh, Ukraine, in uh, in uh, France, was happening in in North Korea. Guess what? That's gonna directly affect your life, man. Everything is connected, man. The world is like a village. Everything is connected now, especially due to this internet, man. You know, it says um, uh, uh, it shows speaking not lies. So that's exactly what it is. These uh, uh, prophecies are being speaking louder than never before, man. Now they're gonna be in your face very soon. You know, you're gonna be able to walk from them. You're gonna be able to deny them. You know, because that's what the Lord wants, man. The Lord Yahweh Shemshai is going to make people uncomf uncomfortable. Get ready to be uncomfortable, and that's exactly what's going to take, man. The whole, the found uh, foundation of the world is about to turn upside down. But for Yahweh Shai makes his big entrance. You know, people are gonna be uh uh, uh cashing hell. What kind of hell, man? Economically. Uh, uh, economically, uh, psychologically, you know, uh, 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 you know, monetarily, every possible ways that you can think of, you know, the the collapse of society as you know it, you know, the 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 collapse of the of the dollar, the collapse of the market, you know, the the implementation of the karagma, or uh, transition is uh is an effect, man, a transition is needed because uh. Whenever there's a, whenever there is a a, a, a kingdom uh, dying off and a new kingdom being birthed, guess what? There's always a, a, a upheaval, an easiness, chaos. You know that's how kingdom is, is being is being. Uh, that's how kingdom is born. You know, that's how kingdoms birth, man. Through perilous times, to uh, uneasiness, to chaos, to a tribulation. You know, 
Matter of fact, since I said that, uh, let's get a, a Acts 14, Acts 14, verse 22. It's, uh, it's a part of the movie. It's the requirement. Uh, Acts 14 and 22. And it says, uh, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must throw much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High. And that's like what it is. Throw much tribulation, you know, uh, to chaos, destruction, uh, pestilences, an upheaval of evilness, and easiness that's exactly how we're going, we're going to enter into the kingdom you know we're gonna be in so in so or back in in um uh, in such a terrible case we're gonna need uh uh, uh divine intervention we're going to rely solely on yahweh Shai. we're gonna uh, wish for yahweh Shai to come and save us that's how bad that's how chaotic things are going to be uh but before the missile uh, arrives you know because we know ultimately the kragma gotta be implemented before the destruction before the destruction you know you know that's exactly what it is man so you know that was a quick lesson i don't want to keep on going and going don't want to be the dead horse you know so that was a lesson man wow, people are crazy man. people are on edge that was a lesson man lower like it was edifying i want to say kaholo yamla yahaw bashim roshad um, by Hashem Hawakakodash and a double honor to our elders apostle of JMS Holwal. On next time, Shalom.